the first no, team, we have that. Pat the Flip, a fighting game legend and teacher extraordinary. Teacher extraordinary. And Carolina, a game designer leading the efforts on Alawi. <laughs> on the other team, hey, we have Tony Maxie, Hall. a.k.a. Max, Project and Dan, a.k.a. Bro. Dread. Why are there no more do, They're collectively skating. known as Maximum okay. Dread. Maximum. Cheer them all on and check it out. The dude in back's like, really? Okay, okay. okay. So just use that unless you're doing, a, 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 like, a long-ass combo. Okay, okay. okay, wait, are they actually playing? Okay. So... So I really... This thing's... Oh, that's skateboard is coming out soon. Is it really? Okay. Nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Leon Macy make an hour and a half video about how skate games die. He did. I didn't watch it. I should have long as fuck. Okay, so you see how on the top right, Echo lost a fuck ton of health, right? Um, apparently this game has very active. Damn, right team's getting fucked. Apparently this team has very active decision making. Um, even when you're on the assist side of things, you still have to decide when you come in. You, you decide when you tag. So, unless you're doing a combo, the point character can tag. Otherwise, the anchor tags themselves. So like that, Echo coming in, that wasn't the main character's fault. That was the, that was the Echo player's fault. Happy birthday in this game, gonna go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... There was moments just in the beta where we were like triple crossing people okay. with the assist. Ooh. Hi. Um, I guess we should start from the top actually. Oh, no. So nice. when you pick your characters, there's four styles, right? There's a pretty much a Tekken Rage style. You hit 40% uh, health, you get increased damage, you get increased uh, meter, damage, right? Nice. Pretty standard. Um, can you turn that video a little bit? Sure. Okay, thank you. Very quiet already. Oh no. Okay. Um so the second style, the style I liked using was um, a support heavy style. I forget the name of it. Basically it gave you two times the tag for speed. And so you could just like tag and tag and tag and it was fucking it was a while. Because um the guys I actually played with, they were like, all right, cool, so we're tagging? I was like, yes, we, we are, we're tagging. <laughs> and apparently what it does is mid-combos, you can tag your ally in, and what that does is it gives you four tags in a combo instead of standard two tags. So on top of things like that, where Echo can do a projectile or a rush attack, it also allows you to lengthen your combos in the tag system. So, yeah, so I like running that one. I also only really played Echo. He's pretty... He's pretty interesting. I couldn't really find, figure out the links too much with him in the short time we got. The line was pretty lengthy, you know? Um, yeah, Tekken Tag 2 tournaments on steroids pretty much, yeah. So if you get a team that really complements each other, the combos can kind of go crazy. Um, so like that, I noticed that Echo seems very real. But then he has some kind of, he has some kind of fucked up Oki, honestly. Um, he has the projectile that can meet you. He has the uh, teleports off his warp drive. Now we pack. And then he also has a overhead you combo with his teleport cancels. So it can set up a teleport overhead and then cancel into teleport, and it will it will combo. Then you can jab, tag, and, you know, and go fucking ballistic on your ass. Which is kind of a lot, to be honest, you know? Right. Um, we only got to play, Here we go. I want to say five matches? Picture perfect finish, good stuff. It's GG's. GG's. Uh, yeah, I want to say I played five matches in total, all Echo. Uh, he's pretty cool. He is pretty cool. I'm definitely going to play Echo and Yasuo when the game drops for sure. Um, yeah, oh, I forgot to mention the other style. So you have the attack style. You have... Actually, let me go into this one. So you have the tag style, you have the standard style, and then you have something called uh, Ultimate, which go with the wind. is pretty much what you think it is. You know? Ultimate style, you would ult, and you could combo your ult with your teammate. 
So instead of like, oh, we both hit special, like just the main character hit special, but both specials come out. It was pretty. I mean, it, it it's you know it is what it is. You want the big damage, or do you want the standard gameplay throughout the rest of the game? Yeah, so Dragon Ball, exactly. It's very Marvel vs. Capcom of it. But I like that instead you have to make your decisions on it. Alright, cool, he's an alcoholic. Um, <laughs> interesting. He also seems like he has a... It seems like he's supposed to be... The rival to Darius right now. Since there's only the four characters. But he's much faster, but he lacks the damage in the armor. I didn't really get to play with Yasuo too much, but I played a good amount against Yasuo. Um, I mean, obviously we weren't very versed in the characters, you know, we were mostly just pressing things. Uh, I really just wanted to play Echo to really, like, understand the character. And he seems like he's going to be a... Not an issue, he seems like he's going to be a good character, though. He's very much, like, I think the Ryu character currently, with his, uh... With his projectile setups on Oki, he can go to with the his, really um, combos, his cross-ups with, with his wall, teleport, with his, his projectile, you know, with his you can come check overhead. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a very interesting game. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I've been talking to Brian a lot about it, and that's going to be a pretty good... Um, we, we have high hopes, right? Yeah, Darius does hurt like a motherfucker. And he's relentless on offense too. Once he wounds his opponent, they'll take huge chip damage from everything. Oh, is and that what it is? Okay. He can reset over and over to keep the pressure coming. No, Damn. Then there's Echo, the boy who shattered time, a punk genius with the power to rewind time. All right, this is perfect. With Echo's chrono strikes, you can go in, then call for a do-over. He's tough to whip punch. Yeah, and Echo even is block pretty. Directly. And. See, like, that right there, right? He can overhead, and then if you don't block it, he just rewinds and says, all right, well, you know, times two. Here we go. So he is MK11 Garrus? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. He's MK Garrus with a good projectile that, that uh, floats. Like, it doesn't keep going when he throws it. It has a set distance. So say, like, you knock someone down far, you can poke you with the projectile, and then set up your clone afterwards. We've got a ton of Everything is safe as Echo? Yes, exactly. My favorite character. Enjoy getting your first Everything is safe. <laughs> Each champion has their own Everything is safe. Sorry, not punchable. And <laughs> when teamed up, they can pull off some pretty... Sorry, not punchable. We're excited to see what you'll come up with. If you're at EVO and you want to try our champs for yourself, we'll have a full guide on how oh, to actually play Project Hell coming really soon. Thanks, everyone. See you there. Yeah, e Echo is definitely going to be the main for sure. I love the safe Ryu-based characters, you know? He's definitely not going to be like, he's definitely not going to be like just free because other characters have strong strengths right now, but he definitely feels not underwhelming. He has tools to work with combat, but you're definitely using your head. You're not just like, all right, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to win. Like, no, because also when you do the, the time warp, first you attack with it. You attack and then the time warp copies your second attack when you re-time one. So you put yourself in danger if you fuck up the first time one. So it's not just like, all right, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. You're gonna have to deal with it. You have the opportunity to hit him on the first time one, and if you don't, then you have to deal with it. Negative 10, I disagree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's gonna set up a lot of situations of, is he safe? Do I press now? Unless you're certain characters, like if you're a bigger character, then that would kind of eliminate it. But then that makes the back turn of, oh, I'll just block instead of time warping again. Also, time warp doesn't last that long. It's like two seconds maximum. So after the next decision in May and you're like in the next box ring, the time warp is gone. So you can't like just keep time warping. Oh, let me see if they show it though. Is that it? I don't think that's it. Retreating guard. No, there's one specific move I found. I want to see if I can find it again. I didn't find it in the video, I found it in the game. 
Damn, I don't think they show it. Fuck. No, it's not there. Okay, but we can see the four styles actually real quick, apparently. Or they just show off the two. Yeah, okay. So, Fury, the one I was telling you about, standard one. Uh, freestyle, handshake tag twice in one sequence. I think that's, okay. So I think that's the actual, um, the super combo tag option. And then you have double down, combine your ult with your partners. And then the one I was using, a uh, fuse, two times assist. So basically, assist fuse allows your team to assist, draw assist, two assist. assists back to back instead of one. Another oh, so those are like charges? Down, which lets you oh, and that's your crazy. Link to together. Yo, that's so good. Yeah, I'm running that. <laughs> I'm running that. Yep. Definitely. There's no way. Because, like, can you. So basically, in my mind, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking projectile meaty, right? Um, he has a move where he warp strikes and he faints and he rolls through you. So it looks like he warp strikes and he just rolls through you. It is invincible during the roll, but he is like able to get hit afterwards, kind of like KOF. However, the issue becomes, oh, you got meaty with the projectile. So you got meaty with the projectile. I roll through you. I call assist. And then you have to go like, all right, now I have to block left or right. Which way is it going to be? What if I just, what if I just overhead you? Right? What if I don't dash back? So you had to block, then you got put on assist. And now I get to 50, 50. So that's what I was doing. Um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, this character's stupid. He also has a dash in option where he's on top of you after putting you in negative, like I mean, literally on top of you. He's like, right. If you're, if this is you, your opponent, he's right here. He's just like a jump kick off you and he's right above your head. So he's definitely a, exactly. He's already cooking, he <laughs> like mix ups. Day one, bro. I was, I was doing that to people immediately. I found it, I was like, oh dear, this is what I'm gonna do all year. Great, can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. Um, everyone has their own little things. I that's I kind of think is his little thing. I think his thing is really good. Oki, um, Ari's obviously the projectile. Yasuo's the quick and anti projectile. Uh, Darius the hard hitting, easy armor character, the grappler. And Echo's kind of like I feel like he's the Oki. He's the Oki monster. Where he can three way mix you and faint and like kind of play poke and prod until you like fight and then he just gets to kill you uh because his specials are also pretty well actually everyone's specials are pretty long range in this game they all seem like they're able to combo and with punish like let me see if i can reverse a little bit i want to see if i can find a range okay so like echo right here echo from yasuo that's about the range of the specials, of everyone's special. So, like, say if you press a button over here as Echo, Yasuo just ults you. And he's like, yep, you died. Sorry, why are you whiffing? Alternatively, you can dash block. And you can air jump and block. I don't know if you can air dash and block. But, yeah, so, the game's pretty... It only have the four characters playable right now, which kind of sucked. But it's pretty interesting so far. I'm very much looking for um, I have high hopes for it, as I said earlier, but yeah, definitely playing Echo and Yasuo, for sure.